This is Melissa with the Stock Swoosh, and I'm just doing a quick nightly video here in GME. I did a video on this before, and now you see the stock here. I just want to show everybody this is a live gap. So the stock is gapping down tonight. The stock closed at 347.51. Now it's down at 298, and a little bit ago it was at 217. So this stock is gapping down. This is one of the reasons why I said stay away from this thing. It's too way too volatile. So it had a big move up. Now it's down. I don't know where it opens tomorrow, but, you know, this is just a nightmare to train. And um, it'll be really, really interesting to see here exactly what ends up happening with this because there were retail traders that bought it. There's a hedge fund that 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 lost money in it and still may be in that position. Uh, we really, we really don't know. And um, and it was just too big of a position, in my opinion, with no risk management. But now the situation is what? What's going to happen between Thursday and Friday? Is, or, you know, is it going to get pushed down again or are people going to continue to buy it to push it up? And I just think this is a stay away. But this is a good example here of a gap. This is a live gap that's happening right now. It's 748. A friend of mine today said I thought the market closed at four o'clock. I said the market does close at four o'clock, but there's after hours trading. It's called the post market and the pre market. I take what I do so seriously and it's so so crazy to me that people train with no strategy at all just in a rumor or this or that or that it's just gambling i don't look at trading that way i take what i do very seriously there was no play today in gamestop there was no play at all people played it tomorrow there won't be any play either the charts just way too messed up now this is this kind of reminds me of like a pharmaceutical you know how sometimes they come out and say we have a drug that cures cancer oops it didn't work the trials failed you know it's that kind of thing that kind of thing so it's like <laughs> this is just a disaster and an accident waiting to happen and it will really be interesting to see because i think that um something's going to happen in this <laughs> for sure in the next two days and it may not be what a lot of retail traders want so somebody said that they they think the stock's going to a thousand if that's what people are betting on i i i, I wouldn't be betting on it um because if, if if a fund is in here with a big position despite the fact they're down other funds could come in to support that fund or they may be in the same position or not as big of a position but a position and you never know what can happen don't think that funds don't work or institutional money or banks don't work together because they do so for retail traders to try to take on the power money at wall street it's that's a disaster waiting to happen in my opinion and one of the reasons why just you know maneuvering in and out and just momentum moves in in very nimbly to just ride the coattails of that institutional money is just so much easier than trying to do here what this whole configuration here is attempting to do i think this is very dangerous and i just don't think it's a good idea for anyone to be trading this and it'll be interesting to see what happens between today and tomorrow but it's tanking right now tonight up from where it closed at least today and uh, the bar today is very strange <clears throat> like i said it closed with a baby red bar big extension from the top to the tail here but basically closed the day at a loss when you look at it so that's the story on this Almost 8 o'clock. We'll see how this closes tonight.